two levels. And we're back at the Forbidden Grave. Now we can just keep going. Next area. Oh, thank Christ, the next area. A lot smaller. My eye, my eye is watering. Not because I'm crying, but because something flew into it or some. God, ah, it hurts. Oh, God. But these are fly people. I, I'm trying to fight them with only one eye. I'm just gonna hold still, wipe my eyes. Oh, God. They're not friendly. They like to ambush you. And murder. But, boom. Another lantern. Welcome to Buggin' What? This is... A, uh... Little research laboratory area. Excuse me. I'm just gonna avoid this fly man. I mean, his only main attack, his only dangerous attack is pretty much that jump and grab. Which will then just frenzy the shit out of you. And frenzy is not something that's fun to deal with. Oh! Maybe I can get him off me. Haha! -ha! Still getting frenzied, though. Excuse me, I need to get away from you so I can heal before the frenzy happens. Oh, my frenzy was... my frenzy resistance was really good. Okay, two of you is kind of a pain in the ass. Can one of you die? Okay, that was... yeah. Pain in the ass. Should have gone up this way. Because then you could just jump down and sneak attack him. But no, I did things the hard way. Just doing a little spin. Over here is a familiar little... Zoidberg-like guy, except for now he has a little magic beam. That magic beam will just hold you still so he can grab you. And over here... What is that? Oh, that's, that's just a statue, right? Yeah, it's a statue. And over here, we have the door. That's locked. Game just loves its locked doors. I don't want to fight two of you again. That was a pain. Is there any way I could just get one of you? No. Oh god, my face! Please get off. I'm really lucky that my frenzy is quite high. Probably it's because I've been spending all that insight over there underneath the blood echoes. I've been spending it to buy cool clothes. And other stuff you can only buy with insight. Now you may see a weird centipede thing up ahead. This is the only one of these in the game that isn't in the chalice dungeons. It is not dangerous. Like, at all. It's surprising how little danger there is when fighting this thing. But it does have an interesting death where it just... Where to go? It's supposed to drop the thing. Where'd the thing go? 
Let me just grab this real quick while I look for the thing. Ah, it just flew off somewhere, I guess. Oh, it's supposed to turn into a tiny little bug. So if you thought Snake Land was interesting, here's Bug Land. Where you're fighting like the fly. That loves to just jump on your head. Just, yeah, just make me go crazy. Losing my mind here. Do it in real life? Why not do it in the game? Just going nuts. But yeah, this is a short area because boom, first shortcut. Also, the end is right over there. Just gotta enter this building. This very calm, relaxing building with one enemy in it. I've counted. There is one enemy. It wasn't a very hard count, but I did. Good old fashioned hunter. If I could just get you into that corner, I could just beat on you just like I did Asulfka. Oh, you have the same thing. Oh, that could have gone better. Literally within 10 seconds, I'm back. And losing. Oh no. Still hit me around the corner. I'm just gonna go pick up my echoes real quick. If you wouldn't mind just not being in my way, I'd be thankful. Oh god! Okay. She is not friendly if I didn't have this amazing combo to rely on. Because she will just kick your ass over and over and over. Especially with her big star explosion. Henrik! I didn't know I could... These, these summon buddies are new. So I was very happy to see Henrik there. Thought I saw a chest right here. And there should be one more little thing. A little somewhere around up here. Thought so, maybe. Could be totally wrong. Ah, there it is. Good old ladders. I guess this would be a good way to get away from her too. What is this? The luminarium key? <coughs> that hurt. That hurt my side more than it should have. And I can see you. You know that, right? That was easier than I expected. What were you guarding, though? 
you regarding the empty phantasmal shell another spell that would that's actually a good one for my weapon doesn't work on all weapons but it sure works on this weapon auger can can you get off me thank you Uh, at least we could open this door now. And we can meet the man himself. William? Yeah, I believe it's William. He's just like, go. Go. Now, I'm just gonna kill him because... No, there's no harm in killing him. Sorry about that, William. I really wanted this room. Huh. Huh. Excuse me, I'm gonna go back and level up real quick. And we're back. So you may have noticed this, but I can be a cheap asshole when it comes to some bosses. This is one of those bosses. I mean, he's clearly a boss. I mean, look at him. I do feel bad about doing this. But sometimes, you just... You have to do it. This fight can be a little crazy. Gets a little out of control. So I just want to get it over with as quickly as possible. So I got my flamethrower here. With my bone marrow ash. And I'm just gonna go to town on him. That was the wrong button. Oh, that's new. That's an interesting way to fix that problem with this boss. <laughs> he just immediately spawns them in now. He used to not do this. He used to be a nice guy. Or maybe I'm just remembering the steps wrong. I feel like I'm remembering the steps wrong. I definitely think I was just supposed to hit him and these guys show up. But this first stage of the fight, totally easy. I will take all this madman's knowledge, though. You can never have too much knowledge. Nope. Stupid. Now, usually these guys have a rock head that blocks pretty much all physical damage. Unless they do that. But this, this little weapon has electricity, so I can just cut right through their heads. They are willing to just, like, gang up on you and destroy you. And now Rom is alone. So now we're going to load the thing up and just get ready to torch him. He doesn't like this. He doesn't like this plan at all. Wrong button again. They totally changed him. However, he is a spider. And he is weak to the small little thing called electricity. But there used to be a way where you could just glitch him to just burn out. However, I guess my new strategy is to just run up here and hit him on the side. Except for now he's going to fight back. And he's going to be summoning meteors and doing magic explosions. 
and all sorts of nonsense. But with the Tenitrius, this fight goes way better than it should. Rain blood. Rain the blood down on me. My cheap tactic has been fixed by the game. Good job, designers. Of course, there's only one way out of here. I guess you could just bold mark, but that's cheating. That's not what the game wants. Hey! What's up? So this is that area that took us to the, the Nightmare Hall. What's up, Squid? And uh, that door is finally open. I mean, we could just go that way. Not like anything ever bad happens to us in this game. And welcome to the front entrance of Yagatul. Where people just spawn out of blood puddles. And it's covered by crazy ass... Whatever those guys are. Yeah, it's time to leave. <laughs> now we got... You can't even see it. We got that crazy-ass blood moon over there. It's big, it's bright, there's a big fucking thing in the way. And you might think we're in Yargathul right now because of the big fucking thing in the way. Uh, no. We're, we're at the Cathedral Ward. The big fucking thing in the way has always been there. Always. In fact, you could see it try and, like, reach over to grab you. It's just always been there. But hey, there's some new things that should happen now that the crazy-ass Blood Moon. One, she looks better. I said looks better. Doesn't mean she really is. Oh, I have my share of woes. Give me more sedatives. <laughs> Meanwhile, while she looks better, she looks worse.
And, uh, he's still here. Okay. But hey, we could also go see... We should be able to. Unless I screwed up horribly. We should be able to go see Eileen. The crow lady. And it's always a fun time. It's a joy seeing her. She's so nice. These guys all have, like, new powers. But yeah, there she is. Why are you laying on the ground? In all the blood. in wait this way turn back this is my score to settle so as usual we're not going to turn back we're just gonna charge in there and be like I think we got this and now I would like to introduce you to uh this guy, I, I actually don't know his name, but he's an asshole, has way too much health, makes for a cool fight though. And he's incredibly strong. What the fuck? Okay, so as you saw, mysterious old man, old hunter, old insane hunter man, is uh, stupidly strong. That's a good way of putting it. Stupidly tough. That gunshot might. Yeah, yeah, it does a lot of damage. Ow. And it's not worth fighting. <clears throat> However, if they didn't patch it out, there should be a fairly easy solution to this battle. Should be. Not gonna say it works, but if you noticed, his weapon loves doing damage to him. So I'm just going to run away. Ah, he dispelled it. No. No. Developers, don't patch this one out. If you're not going to make him any weaker than he already... Okay, goodbye. Bye. Yep. Stop dispelling it. Am I really just gonna have to edge you? Is that what's going on here? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's right. Back off. 
You fucking coward. Oh, come on! Why do you can get to heal? Look, we can handle this like gentlemen, right? Oh, maybe not. I didn't need that part of my body anyways. Hey, I poisoned him. That should be helpful. <laughs> Fucking god! <laughs> oh, insult to injury. Why? Aha! I've been to Castle Kainers. I know how to deal with your blood damage. Still does a lot of damage, though. What?! <laughs> how do you like them apples? Just keep using the auger! <laughs> the auger is just the most powerful weapon in the game. That's all there is to it. Oh man. That guy was not friendly. Hi! I did it. Don't you ever listen to your elders. No matter. You did save my life. I don't seem to be apt for this life anymore. My glory days were long ago now. Decision is yours alone. Oh. My eyes grow heavy. Let me rest a while. I'll be fine. Just wait. Well, thank you, Eileen. Goodbye. We will never see you again. And there goes one of the coolest characters in Bloodborne. Which isn't saying much because Bloodborne doesn't have very many characters that you can talk to. Has a lot of bosses. A lot of people that want to kill you. <laughs>